The Weddell Sea in Antarctica is an icy wilderness, home to the penguin and many other marine species. Scientists from Stony Brook University in New York have traveled to this remote area on a Greenpeace expedition ship. They're here to counter Delhi penguins, to understand how they and other marine species are coping with climate change. Counting penguins is crucial because penguins are an excellent indicator species of the marine environment. They're much easier to monitor than most marine species are because they nest on land. Um, they're big, they're easy to spot. Um, so we count penguins to get a sense of how the marine ecosystem is doing. Scientists say they count every group of penguins by hand three times over to ensure there's only a 5% margin of error. Where colonies are inaccessible, drones are used to take aerial surveys. The results show penguin numbers have remained stable in this area in the last decade. Scientists say it's evidence the Weddell Sea is a refuge against climate change. Across the, the western side of the Weddell Sea, at all of the Adelie penguin colonies that we've visited, we've seen some pretty good evidence for stability in these populations, uh, which is quite exciting because on the other side of the Antarctic Peninsula, Adelie penguin populations have really declined. So seeing uh, at least that stability for now means that, it seems at least, that climate change is, is moving a little more slowly in the Weddell Sea, for, for these species at least. In 2018, the EU proposed making the Weddell Sea a no-go zone for industrial fishing, mining and deep sea drilling. But the initiative was blocked by Russia and China. Greenpeace says the results of this survey bolsters the case for creating a huge marine protected area. Governments have for the last 10 years been talking about creating a marine protected area here in the Weddell Sea. This is just yet more evidence of why that is so critical to protect places that are still really healthy habitats for amazing wildlife like penguins. It's just another reason why governments should be acting now to protect the Weddell Sea while they still can. All this newfound knowledge will be studied and compiled once the expedition wraps up. Researchers hope it can be used to protect these unique waters and the wildlife which lives in them. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.